And we're here just to say a few words. Uh, we see ourselves uh, as advocates uh, of runners, and we've been hearing from runners uh, for months and months now. And I say this uh, uh, respectfully, we have an, an incredibly close relationship with the Parks Department. We work with them week in, week out, and uh, I wish we didn't disagree on this one, uh, but we feel uh, strongly that uh, we should leave uh, this uh, beautiful nature uh, the way it is. Let me turn it over to Mary. Thanks, George. I just want to echo a great partnership with Parks um, and a great respect for the commitment to recreation all year round throughout the city. Uh, as George said, you know, it's the beauty of this is a soft. As Eric said, it's flat. We definitely believe in the more accessible, the better. And it just seems, I think Anthony said, well, this is the spine of Van Cortlandt Park. And Van Cortlandt Park is one of the jewels of the city. And do we really want the spine to be paved with asphalt? And we would advocate for any consideration of um, denser dirt, packed dirt, limestone, crushed rock as maybe a way to be um, a means of taking care of everybody's concerns. And we look at the other great parks and think about Central Park has its bridal path and its reservoir and Van Cortlandt should remain as beautiful as it is right through the center of the park in the heart and soul. And I can just speak for, we've got kids running throughout the Bronx, um, throughout the city, and we want these kids to have the chance that decades of kids have had to grow up in this park. And an identity that Van Cortlandt Park has that I hope you're all very, very proud of is one that's citywide, borough-wide, nationwide as a running mecca. And high schoolers have grown up here on those trails. And it, it's, it's something that is something to be very, very careful with, um, as I'm sure you all will be. So we're all, we just urge you to reconsider the paving part of, of this initiative.